Welcome to Pain Finger. Once again, we're in Magic's Samplitude Studio 2016. And this time I'm going to show you how to connect your VST instrument into the DAW. In this case, I'm going to be using Easy Drummer, 64-bit version. So let's bring up Easy Drummer. And in some of your instruments and this of course this is inside the uh, instrument itself there's a show uh, path to the plugin okay keep note of your plugin pass so I just get out of here and we'll start up a empty project and here I've designated 16 tracks blah 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 and just Hit that and let's bring up the Y. Hit the Y key and your audio setup comes up first. So I'm using a MIDI. So Magic's low latency 2016. And some people might use uh, the ASIO for all. That's good. That's okay. It's whatever you feel like. Also, here's the VST. And of course, you see here I've designated my tune track folder as the VST plugin. So it seeks out the uh, Easy Drummer. And everything's cool. So just close that because I don't have to change anything. And here, here you can change the, uh, the type of track from audio to MIDI if you want. I believe it already does it by itself, but in case it doesn't, that's where you change that. Double click, uh, double left click inside the uh, that little gray area, and that brings up all these extra little sliders. One way you can bring in the VSTi is through this little pop-up through the uh, through this uh, plugin. Uh, scroll and you can do that or in this case you can go ahead and click on that X or the plus sign and bring up easy drummer there let's get out of there for for now I don't want to do it that way I want to show you this way let's go into whoop. let's go into the track Go into Track Options or Alt-I if you want to bring it up that way. And in here you can see that you can designate a recording device for your MIDI. Okay, and I'm going to designate Easy Drummer at the bottom of the list here. And that should be good. It should bring up a pop-up. This is through Easy Drummer itself, this pop-up. I'll just go okay get that out of there this pop-up is easy drummer it's not part of magic so it's just asking you whether or not you want simple multi temporal or multi-channel and I'm just going with multi temporal I'm going to do all my editing inside the instrument itself say okay and up pops your drum kit And you can see that the uh, sound is coming through. Can let you hear that a little bit easier. And of course, everything's running fine because we are using Magic's low latency MIDI driver in there. And that's good. So let's click that off. Every time I want to bring up the instrument, just right click in the track and go to Instrument Editor now. And up pops your interface to start building a drum track. So that's it for now. It was just a quick one just to show you how to do that. Next one, I'll show you how to uh, enter in the Waves plugins as well. Um, we'll see how that goes on the next episode coming up as soon as I can possibly get it out. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. See you till then.